But when I go, hey, ChatGPT, here's how I like doing business. Ask me 10 questions you need to know to help me find the type of consumers that will engage me. Her response becomes less generic when you ask her to interview you. When you start talking to it, now there's two ways to do this. One is to click the little multi-line symbol in ChatGPT on your phone or on the desktop app if you're using that. And that's the voice interface where you talk back and forth. The other one is just, just click the microphone, which allows you just to talk into the text box and it transcribes what you're saying. I find the back and forth with her or, or ChatGPT to result in much better content than me just talking unilaterally and it going and doing the job I gave it. When I give it the option to ask me more questions, to find out if I like the results, to start the process. So what are we talking to it about? One is just idea generation. So let's say you have a good idea. Hey, I got this, this cool idea. I think I'm going to interview cats up and down the streets of William Street in Fredericksburg. Uh, and that's going to be my gimmick. And uh, it's going to be the, the, the city through the eyes of a cat. Give me some ideas about what kind of questions a cat would ask and how would I create video content that consumers would actually engage in based on what you know about me. And it'll start creating the questions and the formulas and what tools you'll need for there. Uh, again, the interview dialogue I talked about, just generating content. So I go, hey, ChatGBT, or in my case, Kit. And by the way, you can rename it just by saying, from henceforth, your name is Kit, and she'll respond when you talk to her and call her by her name, or his name for that matter. Um, and it will remember that's how you wanted to do that. 